Hi folks, Dave here, and today I'm going to show you how to program uh, repeaters into the uh, HYS dual band transceiver using the keypad and, and menu functions. All right, stand by. <clears throat> and today I want to walk you through setting a repeater into the HYS dual band uh, ham transceiver. This is uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter. Uh, the uh, we've got somebody uh, talking to us right there. Eh, just a little noise, but that's okay. We'll walk through that. The first thing I want to do and show you in the uh, the manual actually has very good instructions on setting um, the memory channels. Okay, there's your starts here. Describes how to do it, and then actually walks you through step by step on the screens. Okay, um, and it also has a very di good description of use of how to uh, use repeaters, how the functionality. A little bit more over here. But let me actually walk you through the screen process. <clears throat> now, the first thing you have to do is set the uh, receive frequency, the frequency you're going to listen to. Now a lot of repeaters, uh, you'll see them listed on the internet with a number, a plus or minus, and then another number. The first number that you're going to see is the receive frequency. In this case, what we're going to set is 146.840. That is the frequency of the uh, local uh, Fort Worth Kilocycle Club repeater. And the next number you usually see is a plus or a minus. That is what they call the offset frequency. And then the second number, uh, the, the next number that you see would be a PL tone or a squelch tone. Now the plus or minus is going to tell you whether or not you transmit above that 146.840 or below that 146.840. First of all, let me talk to you about getting to the frequencies. Now on this particular radio, uh, you just simply, once you're on the band, there's a little uh, arrow here. Uh, once you're on the uh, the band that you want, uh, you just simply up and down till you get to the frequency you want. Or you can type it in. Uh, let's go back to 146.940. This is a little 146.940. Oh, okay, 146.940. So you can use the up and down arrows, or you can just type in the frequency either either way you wish. Okay, so the one we're going to do is 146.840. But the step frequency on these little buttons is programmable. And let me show you that first. And this is going to go into the menu. And that's going to be option number 6. And it says step right there. And as you can see, I am at 5 kilohertz per step. Now, if I hit menu again, that puts me in where I can change it. I can do 6.25, 10, 12.5, 25, and 5. Menu again saves it, exit takes you back. Now I like the 5 kilohertz myself. Might not be real great if you're scanning VFO, but for programming I, I like it. Uh, let me show you here what I'm talking about. See we're right now at 146.940 and if I click up there's 45.50 55, 60, 55, 50, 45, 40. You're actually changing how many steps this these numbers graduate in. Okay, so the frequency I'm going to program in today for my kilocycle repeater is the 146840. It looks like there was some noise coming in there. Let's see if we can. Uh... Yep, we have a little background noise coming in there. We're going to take care of that with a squelch tone. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about the offset. Now, the offset is how many uh, kilohertz or hertz above or below this, this receive frequency you're going to use. And that's going to be in your uh, menu option number 31. So let's go menu 31. Okay, and here's our offset. And you can see we are at 
0.6 hertz or 6 kilohertz. Okay, we're receiving a lot of static here. So this is not, if we're going to transmit, you don't want to do this, but if we take this uh, antenna off, we'll get stop some of that static. And also, once we program in the PL tone, you'll see the value of using that. That'll stop that static also. Okay. So now we've seen that the uh, frequency is set at 146. 840 and we know our offset is 6 kilohertz uh, we do not yet know if it's plus or minus now I said my particular repeater uses a minus for the offset and that is set on uh, channel number 30 so if we go to memory, memory 3 0 here's your shift offset and the D is for direction so I hit menu to change it and if I hit the button here, you can see I go from off to plus to minus. Okay, so off would be a simplex frequency. Plus would mean I am transmitting above my receive frequency. Minus is I'm transmitting below my receive frequency. And I need below, so I'm going to save with the menu button and exit. Okay, so now we need the, the tone, the PL tone or the squelch tone. And this is listed for mine as 110.9. Uh, so that is controlled on uh, menu number 13. So let's go to menu 13. There we have the PL tone 1110.9 hertz. So that is correct for this particular uh, repeater. And the next thing you want to program in is whether or not you want to transmit on high or low power. Uh, now, unfortunately, this particular repeater um, is out of the range of this radio. That's probably why we're getting some of that static. But you still want to be able to program whether or not you're high or low, depending upon where you're at in relationship to that repeater. So that is actually uh, option number four. So we go to menu, four. Here's your transmit power. Menu to select, and your options are low or high. On this radio, low is 2 watts, high is 4 watts, and menu to save and exit. Now the next thing we want to do is set the bandwidth. Now, as far as I know, all the repeaters uh, in the United States are currently running narrow band. There may be a few out there that are wide. Uh, you'll have to talk to uh, maybe the local folks in your area to see if, if you have any trouble with narrow that you might want to change to wide. But that's controlled on uh, menu option number nine. So we go menu nine. And you can see we're at narrow now. Menu to change. And my options are wide and narrow. Save narrow. Exit. Okay, so now at this point, um, we should be ready to transmit uh, to this repeater. Now, I don't think I can key it up. I'm going to try it here. Yeah, part of the <laughs> part of the problem of what I'm doing right now is I am completely surrounded by fluorescent bulbs to try to get this video coming in and I think that's where you're kind of hearing that. Now you did hear the repeater reply back with its uh, code in Morris. I think probably if we were to kill all these uh, fluorescent lights that I'm under it might come in okay. So let's program this into a memory channel. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here so I stop picking up the static. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and program this into a memory channel. <clears throat> Now, like I say, at this point, you can you can talk to this repeater. If you use just use those steps, you can program and talk to any repeater you want if you know their receive frequency, their offset, and their PL code. But let's save this one because it's one I use a lot. So to do that, we're going to go into uh, menu option 32. So we go menu 32, okay, memory channel to memory channel and then what you see is this O33 there's a now it says CH031 that means there's something already saved there CH30 there's something already saved there 
029 without the CH. There is nothing on this one. I can save it. Okay, so to do that, I just simply hit menu again. See it added to the CH to the front and exit. So now I have saved this repeater, 148, uh, excuse me, 146, 840, uh, with a negative offset and 110.9 as the PL code. Now this radio does have a little bit of quirk, and, I'm gonna, and it is described in the manual. Through the memory process, when you save the memory channel, it does not save the transmit frequency. So what we have to do now to finish this programming is to program the transmit frequency, which we know is minus. So we will go to, and I'm just going to plug that in here, 146, 240. Or six kilohertz below. And then I'm going to resave that into my channel 29. So I go memory 32, memory 29, memory, save it, and exit. All right, so now that has completed the memory portion of saving this uh, in the, the channel. Now let me show you right now, like I say, we're in VFO mode. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to hold down the menu button and turn this on. And it's going to come up and ask me for a password. Now this password is optional. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now you notice that I'm in channel mode, not VFO mode. Now there's one with a name, there's one with a name, there's one that says just says channel 1, there's one that just says our 29 that we just saved, and through and through. Now to save these names, you will need to use the programming software. And all of the steps that we just went through, manually programming these in, using the uh, programming software is... A snap. I mean, it takes literally just a few seconds. It's like entering some information into a spreadsheet and you're done. And that will be the next video that I post is how to program this using the supplied computer software. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.